Rich, that's the product of when your wife rolls into the hotel room at oh. midnight and says, my phone just got stolen, wake up, and you lose oh, out on a little bit dead. of sleep before he's an eight-and-a-half-hour no pregame <laughs> edition of Game Day Morning. All right, let's talk about something that doesn't have to do with me looking ridiculous on live TV. The Broncos are keeping all options on the table regarding Russell Wilson including the possibility of reopening talks about renegotiating his contract. Wilson is due $39 million, fully guaranteed this season. Another $37 million in 2025 becomes fully guaranteed if he's still on the roster come March 17th. This is why Denver approached Wilson back during the bye week about restructuring his contract with the idea of having him on the team this season. Instead, Russell Wilson and his agent, Mark Rogers, complained to the NFL Players Association and later publicly accused Denver of benching him over money. All that being said, it's difficult to imagine Russell Wilson playing another down for the Broncos. However, if both sides get out there and don't find a better option, the Broncos already owe him all that money anyway. Don't rule out that possibility of Wilson being back in Denver just yet, Mike. Tom, just a year ago, we were in Arizona getting ready to watch Jalen Hurts playing in the Super Bowl. Now some are questioning his viability as a long-term franchise quarterback. The Eagles, though, are not. They feel like new offensive coordinator Kellen Moore is going to bring some fresh ideas, which should help Hurts and that offense. But there's a non-X's and O. Uh, X and O element at play here, and that is that Hurts, you know, he's usually a few words and he's stoic. They want him to be more front-facing and more of a vocal leader, especially because Jason Kelsey might be retiring, Fletcher Cox as well, and some other long-term fixtures could be moving on with the Eagles as well. So now is Hurts' time. They paid him like it last year. Now he's only 25. He's not a finished product. You hear that repeatedly when you talk to the Eagles, but they say he's open to these conversations. They've already been having these conversations, and they wanted him, and the people around him did as well, to show his personality when he was down at the Pro Bowl. He did that. They feel like that was a step forward. Now, 25, that's old enough to gamble in Vegas, and I say that because we were walking back from dinner last night, and all of a sudden we heard a craps table absolutely erupt. And who was cheering louder than anybody? Jason Kelsey. So no Shirt on, though. Shirt on. No decision on retirement just yet. I'm expecting that in the next couple of weeks, but he did hit the 4-4 for the hard eight. <laughs> You're such an idiot. Speaking of the Eagles, a little more Eagles news. Sources say their star pass rusher, Hassan Reddick, has received permission to seek a trade. The Eagles, of course, acquired him in free agency, double-digit sacks, both of the last two years, a pro bowler been one of the best players off the edge, wants to get paid again. Do not be surprised if he gets paid Elsewhere, a potential big-time addition somewhere in the NFL. Meanwhile, sticking with the quarterbacks, the Pittsburgh Steelers also have an open quarterback question. Obviously, they have Kenny Pickett coming back. They have said, Mike Tomlin has said, they want competition for him. Obviously, Mason Rudolph came on really strong at the end of the year. But here is a name to consider. Ryan Tannehill, of course, formerly with the Tennessee Titans, was with Arthur Smith in Tennessee, won a bunch of games there. Expect them to at least explore adding Tannehill to the roster.